since 2018 alone. Uh, our current impact, $4.2 billion on the state of South Carolina, which uh, translates to about 50,000 jobs and about $1.4 billion in, in labor income as well for the state. Another $1.8 billion we see generated for property owners each year. Part of that is also going to be spent in the local economy to the extent that these property owners live in the state of South Carolina. And again, if we look at population trends, very much on the side of, of the housing market overall in South Carolina and in the Southeast, and that benefits not only the housing industry in general, but short-term rental demand specifically. So we expect to see more demand as we move forward uh, and a very bullish future for, for South Carolina. So I will stop there. Thank you very much for your attention. And we're going to conclude with a short video uh, that's actually going to summarize the highlights of, of the research. And I think we're going to take a look at that now. Thank you all very much. Wow, we get the whole house? Uh -huh. Whether it's one room or an entire home, when you stay at a short-term rental, you're contributing to a $4.2 billion impact to South Carolina. And cut. Babe, I'm creating content. It starts with the property owners and an estimated $1.8 billion in added revenue that short-term rentals produce. Since many of these owners live in South Carolina, those dollars can be reinvested in local economies. We're only here for a couple days, right? Yeah, but you need an outfit for every possible time. Beyond the rentals themselves are real jobs, more than 50,000 of them, that correspond to the impacts of short-term rentals. That's around $1.4 billion in labor income. And despite the continued widespread availability of traditional forms of temporary lodging, short-term rentals are growing in market share. This indicates short-term rentals are attracting new visitors to communities that they might not have visited otherwise, bringing new dollars with them. Oh, how far is like Kiwi? It's Kiwi, but we're close. Since 2018, the demand for this kind of lodging has grown by 17% year over year, meaning short-term rentals could deliver long-term benefits.